Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, episode 3 of the All The Mods Expert Pack. Um, <clears throat> we've done probably quite a bit in the first two episodes. We've uh, managed to get all the way up to having our copper and tin being smelted. We made this thing last time. And as I said, I'm kind of racing through the first bit fairly quickly. Um, what I want to do this time though is get to iron because this next little bit is a little bit tricky and took me a little while to find actually so what we're going to need to do first of all is to mine the iron so we need an iron level an iron level pick and then we're going to need to be able to crush and smelt that iron so the first thing is to make the pick now the only pick that i've found that you can actually make is the reinforced pickaxe and this is pretty easy a couple of stone a uh, couple of sticks a couple of stone but there's this reinforced stone which you need to make in the calculator and the calculator needs this double compressed cobblestone and an unknown uh unknown's pretty easy <laughs> as is the um as is the cobblestone so the unknown is just four of those to make an apple oak wood pile sure uh and then we're gonna need to make our let's just take one out so we can do that Grab all those, and there's our double compressed cobblestone. So that's all pretty easy. The bit that might take a little bit is the actual calculator that we need to make this. So the calculator is this one, the one that says starts with 100 power, do not need to generate power to use. And this is the one we're gonna need five stone, a calculator screen, a basic gear, and some calculator assemblies. Uh, stone's pretty easy. These two assemblies are what's going to take a little bit because we're going to need what's that? Eight of these. So eight button groups, six buttons. Uh, six eights are forty-eight. So we're going to need forty-eight buttons, which can only be made with diorite or andesite. Um, and I have, yeah, we've got andesite there. So what did I say? Forty-eight. That's pretty easy. So we can have 48 buttons. That'll make us eight button groups. We're gonna need our stone. Now I did make some stone. I don't know if I've made enough stone though. That's the problem. Uh, we can get our two assemblies out of it, at least. Um, we're gonna need some glass we're gonna need what else we're we gonna need a basic gear pretty easy pretty easy pretty easy uh, cobblestone 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 basic gear uh, what was the glass bit uh, normal stone and some glass so that's That's that, and we're not going to have enough of the normal stone, so let's just make some more of that. So what are we missing? We are missing pretty much just one, two, three, four, five stone. I've got four. All right, so there's the fifth one. Easy, 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 easy. So put that there, gear in the middle stone and stone and there we are and it is the stored energy 100 rf starts with 100 power cool grab the calculator use it we're going to need double compressed plus this weird thing get our reinforced stone by now we should have two more of those and we can go reinforced two normal stone two sticks and ha durability 250 so hopefully yeah, 110 durability in that one. They last quite a while, so 250 should be pretty good. Uh, let's, let's just throw all this stuff back. Are we good for food? Yep, there's a spider outside, but we're gonna we're gonna race over to this one. Now, in my little mining area, I have actually found a bunch. Of, well, here's something that's iron level. Reinforced pickaxe. Look at that. Awesome. So this is sort of step one. Uh, appetite is not something I'm really after, but down here I do know that I've got this bauxite ore. Cool. We can now get some of that. We can also get this black quartz pretty easily now. Copper ore. 
You're going to need all of this stuff. Uh, now, iron ore doesn't actually happen directly in this world. This goethite or... <laughs> it's almost like it should be geothite, but it's um it's spelt with g-o-e so go go with fight whatever that is um we're gonna need that this will give us some iron um as well as uh i think the bauxite might give us iron bauxite's usually aluminium though so i'm not sure about that one but anyway this is the first thing we're going to need to do is get a bunch of this stuff but now that we've got iron level oh there we go, got the wrong thing. Uninspected minerals, so I don't even know what this is. I think we can inspect it later on somehow. Not sure what's in there. I might leave that for now. Uh, did I have some more down here? I found all this cool stuff as well underneath my base. We found this ravine. There's all this grass lurking around as well. And there were trees in there. There was all sorts of stuff. It's pretty cool sort of world gen in, um, in this one. So what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to run away again as I do and I will find a bunch more things to mine. Uh, no, you need diamond level for that. Wow. Magnetite. Yay, this is what we want. So magnetite is also another pretty easy way of getting some iron to begin with. Uh, let's just get cobblestone. Yep. Uh, what else can we mine with this? Redstone? No, we need diamond level for a lot of things. Peridot. Look, I have found some diamond, but of course we can't get there until we get our diamond level pick. So, um, now that we are able to mine the stuff, the next ep next thing is actually being able to smelt it. So we can grind up the iron dust um, pretty easily, I think. Let's actually just go up and see if we can do that. But smelting is going to be a bit more interesting. So that's where in the book we have, if we go through a little bit, uh, we've done all this. This is for copper. We need to do this. So we need to make ourselves an atmospheric gauge and find out where the earth is hotter than all the other places. And then we need to get down to bedrock and make all this stuff, set it up like this. Uh, and that'll get us some ember and then set up a bunch of things to do with ember that will let us smelt uh, iron. So I think you put the iron in here, this thing generates like from the ember, and it looks like it's shooting across into that so that you can, um, you can get the heat. I'm not quite sure how that works. I'm sure we'll get there and it'll be interesting at the time. <laughs> so I'm going to go, I'll see if I can get some more stuff together. I think I need more copper and more tin before we can even start booing some of that stuff. So I'll need to do a bit more mining first. Uh, but I'll be back in just a moment once I have a few more things together. So I'm back for just a little second just because I've got sort of part way through making some of the stuff we need. I was, I was reading this book and basically we need to make all the stuff here. Now I've made the hopper, the lever, mechanical core is a bit nasty, it needs four hoppers just for that, so we're using up our ingots pretty quickly, um, chest is easy, I've got a couple of gunpowder already from some creepers that I killed, um, the ember board is going to be nasty, even the atmospheric gauge isn't super easy to make, and that's because the middle of it is a compass, and to make a compass we can't get redstone yet, so we need petal dust. Petal dust says see the runic tablet, and the runic tablet is stone three seeds in an old root so should be pretty easy to get stone um three seeds and do i have an old root here somewhere yes i do so let's make one of those and see what happens We've got our runic tablet bark harvesting rare materials growth powder no not growth powder um, rare materials, old roots, so no, that's it, bark harvesting, no, that's the bark knife that we've already made, fruity stew, no, healing poultice, no, so I'm not entirely sure, ah, here we go, modifiers, terror, viewing stuff, the mortar, those are spell components. So we're going to need to figure out how to get... 
how to get our petal thing. All right, leave this with me. I am going to come back after I've figured out what I'm doing with this. The other thing we're also going to need to make the ember bore is our caimanite. So, so in this ember bore, we need this caimanite bricks, which needs caimanite, these caimanite bricks, which is caimanite blend, which is clay mixed with bone meal. Um, luckily, I did have some bones, and you can grind the bones up in this grindstone here from Crossroads. Um, so I've managed to get a bunch of that. Uh, should be able to get a bunch of that. And be able to... Yeah, there we go. So let's make... Yeah, quite a bit of that. So now I just need to hang that up and dry. So I'm going to let that dry. I'll figure out what we're doing with this runic tablet. I'll be back again in just a moment. Okay, I've found a few more things. I'm gradually making some more copper while we're here. Uh, what I've found is I've made all the bits and pieces we need in terms of the ember bore stuff. So I've got the lever, the hopper, a mechanical core, the ember bore, item pipe, item pump, and the oak chest. Uh, the item pipes were the only thing that needed a little bit of interesting stuff. They needed lead um, nuggets. Now, fortunately, I found some lead ore. You can mine it with that reinforced pick that we just made, uh, and you can just smelt that straight out into lead nuggets. That was oh, sorry, lead ingots. So it was pretty easy to make. Now, in this one. What I found is that any of these makes the petal dust. So that one we need a sponge, leather, and orange tulip. Um, this one we need birch, snowbell, and a white tulip. The one I've found that's probably going to be better for us is bone meal, jack-o'-lantern, and a sunflower. So I'm not entirely sure how to do this crafting. Uh, I think we need this mortar. Yep, then mashing them to a pulp. So we just need some stone. Huh, we got six. That's pretty good. I'm guessing that's what we're going to use now. Is that? Huh. All right. So that placed it on the ground. Uh, we are going to need uh, some bone meal. Let's grab a couple of those. We're going to need uh, some lanterns. Oh, and what was the other thing? Oh, sunflower, uh, which I believe, yay, I have some of them there. So what we're going to need to do is just make ourselves a couple of those. Oh, we don't need the string, we need the sunflower. That and <laughs> wrong thing. It was bone meal we actually wanted. And I have that. Did I use it all? I might have used it all. Yep, definitely have used it all. Let's throw that in there. Where's our crank? There it is. At least this one's faster than the applied energistics one. It's pretty quick to do what it needs to do. Uh, and now, what do we do? One of them in there, one of them in there, and one of them in there. And then what happens? No. No, I don't want to put that in there. Might need to read some stuff. So those are old roots. No, that's just what drops. Growth powder. Grow grass on dirt. Yes, yeah, sure. Healing poultice. No. Reduce you. No. So I'm viewing a staff. Do we need a staff? Your mortar and pestle yield a fine petal dust for use in spells. Right, so this is the mortar. Oh, and there's the pestle to mash it. You need there's something to mash it with. So we need some diorite. And then using the mortar and pestle, detailed, blah, blah, blah. As you can see, I'm not reading very much. I'm just sort of flying through what I think it should be. Uh, just polished work? No, that's annoying. No, I can't turn it back. And I've only got four. Ah, that's annoying, that's annoying. Uh, what's the recipe for that? Diorite, no. I can make stairs back into it. No, and then there's all just that stuff. Stairs can be made. Only from right, so the I shouldn't have polished all that diorite because now we can't do anything with it. All right, so let's just have a quick check to make sure there's nothing else. 
No, it's going to all be diorite. All right, I'm going to have to run away and get some diorite. Only one more piece, and that should let us mash this up and make our petal dust, which means we can then make a compass so we can make our ember thing, and then we can track down some ember. Awesome. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, one quick mission under the, uh, under the earth again, and we have found a bunch more diorite. So now we can make ourselves the pestle, get ourselves our stuff back that we need just grab that in case now hopefully one of them one of them one of them and mash no no what do we have to do here you know what? I'm going to have to read the manual again. Mortar. Using the water pistol. Detailed in the tablet and many recipes. As well as an old root. Right, so that's what we're missing. We are missing the old root. One of them, one of them, one of them, old root, and hurrah, petal dust, cool. All right, so that works pretty well. Let's, um, let's make another one just in case. Cool, uh, we'll throw them in there. We'll throw one in there anyway. Uh, throw that and that back, the pistol. Sure, we'll put that there. And now we're gonna need tin, I believe. So the tin is one, two, three, four. That in the middle, compass, hooray. And now I can't remember what it was to make the ember compass thing. That thing there, the atmospheric gauge. Ah, tin on top and bottom. That there and copper and an atmospheric gauge hurrah so this is going to tell us how hot each chunk is so what i'm actually hoping is apparently they're not that rare but what i'm wanting to do is go down to the chunk where we've actually already gotten to bedrock and hopefully we won't have to go too far from there it is wishful thinking, absolutely wishful thinking, because I have no idea. Yeah, so we're not going to get much further from here. All right, so the next thing we're going to have to do is dig around a bit and figure out... We're nearly in the next chunk. Wouldn't it be great if just the next chunk over had the right stuff? Uh, no. All right. So I'm going to have to dig around a bit. Um, I will come back once more once we found this and we'll get this ember thing set up. And then I think that's going to be it. This episode will really run quite a bit longer than I was anticipating. Um, we're probably not going to get to smelt our iron quite this episode. Maybe at the start of the next one. Um, just divide it up a little bit. Um, but I'll be back once I have found a hot chunk and then we'll wrap up this episode there. See you in a bit. Alrighty, so quite a bit of time has gone by in the real world. Uh, it's actually a whole day later. Um, it took me a long time to find a chunk that actually had um, even remotely some of So that needle, see it's just starting to go up a little bit uh, as we head east. Uh, I found a chunk that's along here where the needle gets up to, no, not even halfway across the thing, it gets to about maybe half past 10, 11 o'clock if you imagine that um, gauge is a clock face. So it seems that it's pretty hard to find really hot chunks. I must have searched within a 20 chunk radius of where I am, but I'm in a fairly flat spot and I have heard that you need to have, um, you need to have sort of hills around to, to get the really hot chunks. So there's some hills above me here. As you can see, the needles raised a little bit. I've already cleared a spot um, to set this thing up. Um, we have our guide here. Now I'm not sure what the stuff is around. It just says to put the ember bore above, red bo uh, above bedrock, put the, um, gunpowder and fuel into the hopper, flip the switch. Sure. Um, so let's do that. Now it did have it a bit above the bedrock. So let's, let's turn on the chunk boundaries. All right. So let's, I think we're going to put it here. So we put the torch back under there. 
Uh, yep. We're going to put the ember bore. No, can't go there. Oh, huh. All right. So that. <laughs> right. So that's. <laughs> That's what the thing is with the book. Okay, so and that's what we need the um, this mechanical core for. So we put the core on top, put the hopper on top of that. We have our item pump, our item pipe, and our little chest. We need our lever on top of there. Cool. Now it's just to throw some gunpowder in there so we'll throw some gunpowder in there can't see anything going on that's got a gunpowder what happens if we flick the switch now, it doesn't say how much gunpowder we need we need some fuel as well so can I look at that no right so how is this going to work? Jump inverse. Two gauge located in you to dig down the bed. Place my variant, insert gunpowder and fuel. Flip the lever attached to the item. It will slowly start extracting. So the lever is on. But nothing is disappearing out of the hopper. So that's interesting. I wonder why that doesn't do anything. Oh, there we go. Some stuff is happening. Let's turn that back on. I didn't want to put all the coal in there. So this might just take a little bit of time. Now I did bring this chest down just so that I can grab, grab this to convert it into more coal. So we've got heaps of coal, let's just throw it all in there and see what happens. Alright, so with that off, the coal disappears in there. Awesome, so something is happening. Oh look, ember shard. Cool. All right, so we're getting some ember shards out. Right, so it's going to be slow. Um, we've obviously got a warm chunk, but it's not as warm as it could be. Now I hear that that won't affect whether you can get ember shards or not. It literally just affects how fast this goes. Um, oh, we've got a crystal as well already. So this will hopefully start producing some stuff. Cool, and with that, this episode once again has gone longer than I was anticipating. So I'm going to cut this one here uh, and that will be it for this episode next episode we'll go on to well whatever the next thing is in the book i guess getting into smelting some iron and hopefully getting um this thing set up here i'm going to do a bit more mining uh, obviously get ourselves some ember crystals and shards and all that sort of stuff um but i'll do that um we'll do all that boring stuff between now and next time um so as always uh thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time